Hey friends, welcome back to Oso Farm. It is Monday and this is my next round of April grocery hauls, once a month grocery hauls. So I just did a Walmart pickup order when I went in town to drop my son off at work. And it is now three in the afternoon and we just got it unloaded. It took me forever to unload it. Sweet Evan has been really hard to manage outside and so he doesn't really listen. He just like runs and thinks it's a game. So I've really been trying to work with him now that the weather's nice on just being obedient and listening and we did some timeouts and anyways, all that to say, we finally got all this stuff in and we're playing happily. So. I will start with what's right here. So I bought this dog bed. It was um, $14 and change for Roger for my dog that is 18 that mainly just sleeps in the laundry room since he's so old, bless his heart. But I put it in here for the grocery haul and Coleman has decided to claim it, although he's not really even on it, but he literally just circled it and laid down, so cute. And then I also am gonna try this mop, this rinse clean mop. Um, we have had such a hard time keeping our floors clean and I usually do like sweep, steam mop, and then do like a slipper on top, but it just has not been working well, so. We're gonna try this. Okay, so I know we have some new friends here and I'm so grateful for that. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you are new here, we are a large family living in Central Texas. I still have six children at home and we have 10 children total, ages 22 to seven. Um, so we eat, we're a homeschooling family and my husband works from home and so we eat all of our meals at home. So I try to do a once a month grocery haul. It usually takes me a couple of days to go to all the stores. We live out in the country so I have to kind of plan that out and then definitely a lot of days to get it all put away and organized. So this is Walmart for April. Okay, so I bought a couple of gluten-free items at Walmart. Um, if you are new here, I have celiac disease, so I pick up a few things for me. I thought originally we were gonna do banana pudding for Easter dessert, but now I have a change of plan. We're gonna do carrot cake and a lemon dessert. So, but I went ahead and bought these anyways because banana pudding is something we'll probably have at some point this month. These are actually really good. I am not even gonna attempt that brand name. I've bought these pita breads before and they're pretty good. It's actually just more like a non bread. It's like a flat bread, but we are eating tuna sandwiches on pitas this month. And so this is nice that I can have that too. So I'm just gonna put these directly in the freezer. These char sandwich rolls are very small in terms of a hoagie, but they're actually really good. So I just separate these and put these straight into the freezer. And then, so this will be four lunches for me this month. And these table crackers, if they're not crushed in here, are actually really, really yummy. So I usually, this it takes me about a couple, two or three months to go through this, just me, but I really enjoy those. I got a few fresh jalapenos. We have some jalapenos that we are about to use up from last month for jalapeno candy, but these are fresh and we're gonna use these for just eating and recipes this month. Our garden is slowly, slowly starting. I think my jalapeno plants have their second set of leaves, but they're definitely a ways off from producing a jalapeno. So hopefully in the coming months, we won't have to purchase things like this at the store. Got one thing of red grapes. These are gonna go directly in the fridge. We do a wedge salad and I can actually cut this to where each person, so all eight of us, it's just a smaller wedge, gets this for dinner. We just drizzle it with the ranch dressing and a little bit of cracked pepper on top. It's very, very yummy. 
I have some spinach that we did not use up from the second half of the month that I'm about to, when this video is over, start another video on a month prep video and get that spinach into the blender for smoothies. I mix it with coconut water and then put it into mini um, muffin trays and freeze it. And then I add one or two to every smoothie that I make. Hold on, I see here my Evan is getting his boots on, which means he's gonna attempt to go OUT. We have these little latches here to keep him from sneaking out without my knowledge, although I can't do it one-handed. So, okay, come play. Mommy's gonna finish her grocery haul and groceries, okay? Can you say okay? Can you play with Coleman? So if you are new here, Evan is our youngest. He is seven. He has Down syndrome. And the reason we do the door latches is because he is nonverbal. He talks, it's just hard to articulate. And he just quietly goes outside and won't tell us that he's going outside. And obviously that is a safety concern. A lot of um, people with Down, or kids with children with Down syndrome are flight risks, meaning that they just don't always stay where they need to stay. So you'll often hear me say, where's Evan, where's Evan, where's Evan? Because usually all of us are pretty good about if we go outside, making sure we tell somebody to latch the doors to keep him safely here. And someday, hopefully soon, he'll mature and grow out of that where he will ask permission to go outside, but we are not quite there yet. Okay, moving on. Okay, Sam's Club that we already posted was totally out of romaine lettuce, and this was a dollar a head, but I am not gonna make it back to Sam's, and I only have a few heads left from the last half of the month, so I went ahead and grabbed these, and I didn't take everything out of the bag because I just thought this would be easier for me to carry. Everything in here is the same thing. So I bought six of these pork and beans for Easter. I'm gonna make, um, baked beans, so I was totally out of that. And then I was totally out of corn, so there is eight cans of corn in here. And then I bought four of these two packs of cream cheese. I think four of my recipes called for eight ounce packages. I was gonna buy, excuse me, I was gonna buy the large ones at Azure Standard, but my cart at Azure was really high and expensive and so I had to make some choices and so I just decided to get this um, cheaper non-organic cream cheese for this month. And then back here, sorry our kitchen was not clean prior to this so it is tight for spaces. Corn tortillas for me for the month and then we're making a magnolia table um, I cannot talk today. Magnolia table tortilla soup. This is not the one that I put in my cart. It was like a Mexican rice that they substituted for this taco rice, but these two bags go into the tortilla soup. Um, I usually buy this at Aldi. It's much cheaper there, but I was totally out. And I have two recipes that call for the onion soup mix. So I just went ahead and got two packages of that. So there's four, four little packages total there. And then cottage cheese. Um, I really only need this for one recipe at the end of the month. We're making Pioneer Woman's um, beef and noodle bake. It is really yummy, like a baked spaghetti. And then I'll just add the rest of that to smoothies to kind of thicken it up. We don't really eat cottage cheese, just plain. Two more things of strawberries, two things of blueberries, two things of fettuccine. I think I only had two left and we're Definitely having one recipe that calls for this, and so I went ahead and just grabbed two more. I have a um, Uncle John's corn calls for two cans of white corn. Actually, probably, I think I added four. I don't know why they're not here, but so that's for a recipe. And then I needed gluten-free breadcrumbs to, um, there's I think one or two recipes that call for breadcrumbs. I usually just make my individual one with these and then the others with just the Italian, you know, like cheaper 
um, breadcrumbs for everybody else. I bought four milks. There's two over here and two over there. We'll get to those. We open up one apple juice a week and when it's gone, it's gone. I bought one extra just because we were totally out. We finished off the one this morning. Evan probably has a glass of orange or of apple juice maybe every two to three days and then some of the kids if it's open will have it sporadically but I know that I just open one a week and when it's gone it's gone. Um, these two lemon jellos are for a lemon dessert that I'm going to make for Easter. We will make a video on that and link it below. We usually have bagels one day one breakfast a week and we have been out for a couple of months and so um, I forgot to buy these at Aldi. They definitely would have been cheaper there but I went ahead and just got four. This will get the kids through each one of them having a bagel that one day a week. I'll go ahead and throw all of these into the freezer outside of the one that we're going to eat this week. Okay, let me come back around here. One cantaloupe, here's those two other whole milks. I bought this Texas toast. I'm going to do um, French toast and put it directly in the freezer. My Elizabeth has her prom at the end of this month and so she asked for more bobby pins in hopes to do maybe an updo or something. So got those. And then they were out of the just equate acne wash and so I just substituted it for this, this charcoal face wash. That is two. I have four teenagers that share a Jack and Jill bathroom. So that's all I'm buying for the month. So hopefully they can make that last. I got some sleep aid just for, we had ran out and need, someone asked for that just the other day. So it's not something we use often, but just in case we're having in a stretch where we're having a hard time sleeping. So Evan does eat pureed baby food Still, he um, has a lot of food aversions and his main nutrition comes through a formula that he gets all his calories through, but he eats a ton of yogurt and fruit and works with a speech therapist. This is, you know, just even though it's baby food, it's just pureed fruits. So these are the only ones that he eats. This is all that I'm going to buy for the month. So he probably has one or two every other day as part of his meal. Um, we do have a lot of chickens. However, I only have four laying hens right now. We have a lot of chicks that have hatched at different stages and they are not laying yet. So luckily eggs are now under $13 a box. So this should last us for the month. Plus we get four eggs a day from our hens. I bought some lemons. This is leftover from Sands that I have not put away yet. Is he just walking around? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is freezer stuff. Two bags or four pounds total of frozen corn. And then I bought six bags of this chopped kale. I left the rest in there. We make a hash brown casserole to go with our brisket for Easter. So I went ahead and got two. We don't have a whole lot of family coming this month or this year for Easter, but this is actually really good as leftovers. So I'm gonna go ahead and still double the recipe because I don't make it very often. So it's just a treat to have as leftovers. We have one lunch where we're having tater tots. So I bought four pounds of tater tots. I think we're about out in the big freezer. Four of these whipped or whipping topping, whip topping for our Easter desserts and then we've used up all in the freezer. So I think I'm using two for Easter and then two to just have. And same here, I have six of these chopped spinach. Um, I'm gonna try to add these, start adding them to um, eggs and things like that in the morning. And then there are 10 total of these orange juices. Um, it takes, we open two at a time for all of us to have a glass of orange juice at breakfast. And we probably do that once, maybe twice a week. So that will last us for the month for sure, maybe a few extra. And I think I said the dog bed. Oh, the only other thing I didn't show you from my last grocery haul that I actually forgot. We have been using this um, Target brand, Good and Gather 
organic all-purpose flour. It is $5.25 for five pounds. I had been buying it at Azure, but it was just too costly to do it that way. So I bought five, so I bought 25 pounds of that for Brian's sourdough. Okay, so today is April the 3rd. I just finished this last night. That's why I marked off April 1st and 2nd because we had already lived that life. So in, you can see from months past, what we end up doing is highlighting the things that we have eaten and then I know what I need to move to the next month. So at the beginning of the week, I usually set out the frozen meats that we need. This month we have some um, surgeries and things going on, so we're gonna do some freezer prep. I still have all of the meat that I bought at Sam's in the um, freezer, or I'm sorry, in the refrigerator that I've gotta process. But like today, it said grilled cheese and fruit cup for lunch. We actually finished up some leftovers, so I will not highlight that. And then I just know, okay, if on Wednesday we don't have enough leftovers for everybody, then that's not highlighted, so there it is. So tonight I'm making beef and snow peas. This is a Pioneer Woman recipe. I have filmed this at some point, so maybe I can find that and link it below. If not, I will link that in the description box because it is such a good dinner. Okay, so that does it for Walmart. Oh, this is the part I dread. I've got to put it away and then it actually isn't all gonna fit in the fridges because I have all that. I bought that huge case of chicken breasts at Sam's. So I've got to first bring the chicken breasts in here to make room for this stuff and then start to process the chicken breasts. So doing shopping once a month is a blessing in the long term, but in the few days where you're actually doing it and living it, I get really tired of looking and thinking about food at the end of it. But all that to say, we are really blessed to have it here. We're really blessed to have it <laughs> and um, we are gonna do our best to eat at home this month, eat the food that we have invested in and that is the plan. So tell me in the comments below how you do shopping, how are you adjusting to the inflation and the grocery prices rising, man, toiletries. I just, I feel like everything is so much more expensive. And then when you do it on a larger scale, like our family, it just is a lot. So if y'all have any um, ideas or tips, please let us know. We are gonna get back in the habit this week of more day in the life daily videos. So I know in the comments y'all said that y'all had really enjoyed that. So thank you so much for just your support of our channel and we will see you real soon in another video. Bye.